Hello friends, you're with the Lonesome Gamer, and I'm still playing 1837. Now we did the first couple of ORs, I think three we've seen, and now finally the first uh, standard companies, the first share companies um, were floated. The Moravian Silesian Railway over here and the Bohemian Commercial Railway right here. They operate both in this area here north of Vienna. So, of course, first um, the or the other companies will operate all the coal companies, the minor companies in the order as we know it and then after these companies we will see the two share companies operating in share value order. Now just I don't know if I mentioned it in my introduction we have a pretty specific stock market here we have a similar one in 1854 another Orgler game which also is placed in Austria and uh, I did a video series about that one. <clears throat> this is a bit different so it's also a 3D market where basically the values can move in six directions instead of four as we know it from the standard uh, market. While in 1854 the uh, the selling and buying of trains from other companies had an impact on the market value here it's a little different so when you when all shares are held by players at the end of the stock round of a company then the market goes up to the left so you got to see it like that it goes up like that right when but when the director owns 40% or less of that company, then it goes even up to the right. So if the director holds 50% or more, it goes up to the left, otherwise it goes up to the right. So it is technically better uh, from a share value perspective if you hold less shares of a given company, which is interesting. And then you have the option to uh, swallow half, 50%, into the treasury and pay out the other half. And if the company does that, it goes down right. So if you swallow, you go completely left. If it's sold, it goes down left. But if you swallow half, it goes down right. So in this game, actually, the uh, where you have that many financial, well, I don't know, entities or how you want to, that many uh, parts that hold money, I come to the to the limits of my bank. Usually, that doesn't happen. I think I have a pretty well organized bank here with uh, lots of fives and 25s and all but here it's really um, it really doesn't work out anymore I've seen it already in my last game it is at a specific point there there is this bottleneck here when many companies are at 50 or 75 so all the 25s are kind of scattered between the companies and that's when I'm simply out of out of money basically and I started piling up fives but it won't it won't work out I guess so at that point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in these five thousands here and I'm gonna use them for now as 25s and uh, yeah at some point I can then still replace them again done with the coal mines well, not too much interesting happened 
Most of them are now at a point where they make some reasonable income. Many of them make about 50. So what was interesting is that this thing here, when a company gets started, the token gets placed immediately, not when they operate for the first time, but right when they float. And so that kind of blocked the route for these two guys. And they were only making 30 bucks instead of the 50 that they were hoping to make. And uh, yeah, similarly for the other company. And um, apart from that, a couple of companies paid some, uh, paid 70 bucks for terrain. So for example, these guys, I mean, 70 bucks for a coal company, that's a lot of cash they have to pay. Uh, but you know, their goal is to eventually make it to Budapest. So they have to invest. And this guy down here, the BB from Bosnia, they also spent 70 bucks with the goal to make it to Trieste and uh, yeah that was that was pretty much it eventually we can see these two connect here and then we have a nice route for a 2G train there that that's definitely uh tempting okay um uh, let's let's go on with the minor companies so i'm pretty much through the miners, nothing too exciting happened, but now the one has enough cash, and both of them actually have enough cash to build the bridges here across the Danube. So it was a it was a little bit of tricky decision for um, for the players. Well, until now I just played the the, the one because if I I have the, the thing is I can run two two trains, right? I got two two trains, but until now I was only able to run one. So instead of 60, I can now make 110, which is a significant difference. But if I wait one more turn, I could have laid this Budapest tile in the next turn. And you can see this is placed like this. And there's a connection between the two cities and it is allowed to run from one point to the other. So that means with a single two train, you can make a hundred bucks. So I'm not going to run this, this part again, at least not in the near future, because I'm going to go for this run instead. So therefore, you know, it's a little questionable. Do I really want to spend the 50 bucks to run for 50 bucks one more time? And uh, the company receives 25. I get 25. I think in the end it's, it's probably okay to do it because it simply gives me 25 that I wouldn't otherwise have. And the company basically loses 25. But I think it's okay. Eventually, the company will uh, will get a ton of cash when they become the national. And I think that's... Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to go for that. They're not going to be short of cash in the future, at least. Right now, we'll see. Um, so I, I decided to do that and make the the extra... 25 there, but wait a second. So I'm, right now I'm running for, what did I say? That's 60 and another 20 is, no, another 40. So 110, yeah, exactly. So 55 for, for, 55 for everyone. Okay, so actually this is not quite as I thought because this is only a 25% share. That makes me think, um, I'm s seriously considering not to spend that money. Uh, I'm going to roll a die here because I, the, then the difference is only about 12 bucks. And is that really worth investing 50 bucks? Uh, I'm going to roll a die and 
on a four, one to four, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I do it anyways. So there we go. So this guy, who is a little more conservative player, he decided against it. He didn't place the 50 bucks here. He didn't place the tile here. Um, and therefore, uh, the company will only run for 50. Okay, so now finally, after six hours into the game, well, not quite, we're gonna see the first um, the first share company operating and we can see here it is the Moravian Silesian Railway that started at Brünn. So right now they are actually not, they cannot lay any track, right? They are, they are kind of stuck here, they are, they can't do anything. So uh, the value drops one space to the left. Well, we don't have to flip it. We can remember that they operated. And then they gonna buy trains. And yeah, that's the question now. What do we want to do? I think basically, hmm, I don't know actually. I'm also interested in bringing maybe trains into my other companies, into the minor companies, especially the South Tyrol Railway, they could perfectly run another two train, um, maybe even a three train if we, if we upgrade this, we can, we can go here, although that is not so interesting, but we could, yeah, we could definitely run two two trains. I think this is something I wanna do. Now, let's see. I already thought about that. If I can upgrade this, ah, that's where things getting interesting. It will take me a bit to get into this area. I can upgrade that and eventually lay a tile here and then jump in here. But all that takes me at least two turns, right? So. And if I think about the X, now there is only one X left. Nobody, I hope nobody takes that away from me, but that's not gonna be possible. And this goes like that. So I, can, I cannot even make that connection immediately. So this makes things even harder for me. Uh, uh, I didn't really think think about that to be honest now I definitely hmm I definitely want a three train there's no question that allows me to go from Vienna to Brünn do I want a 2G train And yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I'm not sure, maybe yes. The problem is that this guy who's operating before me next turn, I mean, I would love to hook up here with the app and then kind of go like this, right? But yeah, both companies, the owner of the app and the owner of the three, they could screw me over here and just kind of, I don't know, make that, that impossible for me. I really am in a difficult position here. I definitely need the two and the three train. I think that's, uh, that's for sure. Now, yeah, the thing is, do I buy a 2G or not? Um, hmm. it's, it's expensive. It's 230 bucks. Do I have the money? Yes. Do I? I that's actually not so, I'm not, not even sure about that. 
Now these two cost me for now, I mean I can buy them back and get some additional cash in there. So right now I gotta spend 270. Now if I want to lay a tile here, we're gonna be at 320. Want to lay a token there, which will cost me 40 bucks. So it's 360. That thing would then bring me to 590. Yeah, I got that. There's no question here. And I will make additional money. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. I'm pretty sure eventually I will buy the 2G train. This is a train that, that will be useful. And... Uh, at some point. So, hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use that train eventually. So, therefore, I might as well buy it right away. Maybe I'm lucky and I, I, get, an, I get an option to run it next turn. And, uh, well, if not, I'm pretty sure I will be able to run it later. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I don't know. On the other hand, yeah, but yeah, it's really a tough decision. Again, I'm going to roll a die on that, and I'm a pretty conservative player, so on a 1 to 4, I'm not going to buy it. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to buy it right now. Um, I think maybe I can still buy it later, and I think it is... I don't know if I can run it, right? It, it's kind of questionable. Maybe I can, no, I'm not going to buy it right now. I might regret that, but, you know, again, sometimes these things happen. So I'm only going to buy these two trains for the moment. That costs me 270 300 That's 500 Okay. Fine, and that means we have a face change and we're now in green. Uh, let's check out what, what we see. I think the only thing that happens is basically that now the two G trains become available. They have to be triggered by a purchase of a, of a three train, right? So these are now available and we have now the green tiles. I think that's on, of course, two operating round. I'm pretty sure that's all that happens for now. Actually, a couple of other things. The train limit goes down to three for the major corporations. Um, we have the. Uh, we are now allowed to lay track here in Bosnia Herzegovina, and of course, uh, we can now purchase trains from other companies, which wasn't possible before. Okay, that's that, and yeah, as I said, it might have been the wrong decision. It's tough to tell, but I'm going to leave it here. And now it's the owner of the Bohemian, and yeah, for now he seems to be in a better position because he's already hooked up quite well, and... Now, what is, what is his idea? I think I'm going to upgrade Prague with the goal to run a train down here. And uh, if that doesn't work out, I can, still, I can still get something out of it. So, uh, let's see, that's the X. Oh, we also have these. Let's, let's see what we want here. Hmm. Yeah, that seems to be okay. I'm going to take this one. Uh, 
Do I? Hmm. You know, maybe not. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Maybe. So let me see. I am. I also own the EPP. That's interesting. So maybe I'm actually interested in in taking this one because you know maybe that. Nah, I don't know. <clears throat> well, but maybe that allows me to run a really strong route from here, for example to here all the way down here. I mean, that would be amazing, right? So we'll see. <clears throat> but wait a minute, I'm not sure if I can actually, I think there are no tiles like that. No, we can't do that. That doesn't work. Okay, so we, no, we got to take the other one. <clears throat> We got to take that one. There are a few games where you have these these tiles where you have two well opposed narrow curves, but in this one that that doesn't exist. Okay, I want to buy two 2Gs. This is super expensive, but you know, I really have the use for them. The Bohemian wants them. Technically, the MLB would get one, the EOD would also like a, th a second one. So, you know, I think there is definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm so much invested into these coal companies that I want these, uh, these two G trains. Now, that costs me um, 460. That's a lot of cash, but... I mean, this is insane. My 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 starting capital is basically gone, but still, I think this is this is definitely worth it. Don't know what else to do with these guys. Okay, um, just can hope that I don't get cut off here. That that would be nasty, and I can see that happen. So that's the end of that, and. We now go, let me, let me just, okay. So the three G's, by the way, they are already permanent and the, the best you can get is a, is a four G, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we go now into the into the stock round, and now this guy has quite a bit of cash. He's sitting on 500 bucks, so that is obviously enough to start his own company. And well, he can also now float the CNL. He's on 200. That's not bad either. Okay, so. He is thinking about starting either the Tisha, which seems not bad at the moment. You know, if we make that connection, we're going to be, we, can, we have a really strong run with a 2G train. It's really nice. And um, yeah, so that, that's kind of cool. On the other hand, I'm a little bit cut off from everything else, but maybe not for long, you know, if I... If I upgrade this, for example, <clears throat> then it should be easy to either build into this area here. I might also upgrade that and go immediately to Budapest. So it doesn't seem terrible. <clears throat> the other option is the, the Transylvanian right here, which, yeah, is also... They might get a better option to hook up with other companies, but not necessarily. Uh, if now the SPB, for example, they will operate first. If they lay track like this, 
I mean, yeah, it's gonna be okay. I can then upgrade this and then I'm already connected with this city in the next turn. And I might consider uh, either placing a tile there or, let me see, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could place a token here, for example, if I wanna do that. So I'm also in a, in a position that, that seems okay, but to be honest, uh, I got a feeling that this company is better. On a one to five, I'm gonna start the, the Tisha Railway. Oh, look at that, it's a six. So I'm gonna go with the Transylvanian. Um, I also have the, the ZKB. So uh, they can help a little bit. So therefore, it, it kind of makes sense. It's not totally total garbage. Uh, by the way, there is still this one up here, the, the Galician Transverse Railway, and also the Bosnian down here. But yeah, for the moment, they do not really seem attractive. But which value I want to par? I thought 85 is pretty reasonable. I don't want to go too high because I want to I want to buy, I want to be able to buy at least one more share, if, but I also don't want to go too low, right? It's, uh, you need a lot of money in this game. So I think if I buy at 85, I have to spend 425. I got exactly 505. That means I got 80 bucks left, which would allow me to buy uh, one of the shares that are still out there, either, yeah, the, the Bohemian or the Moravian. Okay, now this guy here is in a bit in a tricky position. He's got 200 bucks. Now, he also invested, already invested in the, in the BK. So there are two more shares out here. And if I buy one of my shares, and I'm thinking about, it's a good company, right? And I, I might, I have to invest. So if I buy another share of that company, and then someone else buys a share, that means I'm going to have to exchange the EPP for, for an exchange share and, uh, you know, I really don't want to do that because the EPP right now makes a lot of money. And it makes much more than a single share of that company. But when these are sold out, you have to do it. You have to do the exchange. And therefore... Um, yeah, that's not, that is not something I want to do. So I don't really want to buy that, uh, that BK share. And so I want to have the option to run that for uh, two or more ORs. Okay, so at the end of the stock round now, um, the Karl Ludwigs railway was floated. They're sitting here on 675 bucks uh, because this is seems to be the only railroad that only has a single exchange share and <clears throat> therefore they have a little more starting capital. They have nine times the starting capital. And then the Transylvanian Railway uh, they have 680 bucks. Uh, yeah. And yeah, some people had to consider not to buy the last chair because they were not interested in, in getting rid of their uh, of their coal railroad. But I'm pretty sure in the next OR this is gonna happen. And then, uh, yeah, some of these railroads will disappear. But of course, uh, the owners will try to prepare for that. So, uh, for example, this guy, if he's going to lose the RGTE next turn, he's going to try to get it, you know, to make that as, as 
to leave as little in there as possible. So I don't know, maybe they're going to buy the 1G train over here and then uh, these guys can afford a 2G train. Uh, that might be an option, for example. But okay, we'll see about that. Um, yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to load this up. It's not as long, but uh, yeah, it's, it's easier for me to do it now. Um, so yeah, hope to see you on the next video or on LonesomeGamer.com. Bye.